I think there's a sense of urgency in Freire, right? That now is the time. There's this, we are living in this moment of history where it's possible to radically transform society. And the alternative to that is perhaps more incremental, right? That the way to lasting sustainable change is by building community ties, strengthening families, preserving knowledge, being open to new forms of knowledge. And that just, that takes a lot of patience and it's kind of a long game. And you're gonna miss this amazing opportunity we have. And there's, there's a shortcut to get there. You know, people I know who have embraced this, this way of seeing the world and then have left it, have said that, well, really, they like this because it seems like, it's like a shortcut, you know? We don't have to worry about, you know, human sinfulness or fallenness, you know? We're gonna have this revolution and everything you want about family and community, it's gonna be so much easier if we could just get to the revolution then all that other stuff is gonna be so much easier because we're not gonna to have to fight this oppression, right? So I think a lot of people who embrace this view really want to maintain family and community and tradition, but they want a shortcut. And I think the issue with, with Frere, and we'll see this later when we get to Jasani in the next section, right? Jasani says, you know, people are always looking for a way to shortcut the reality of human fallenness and sinfulness. So again, when we compare their understandings of the human person that we see in Maritan, a key aspect of Maritan's understanding of the human person is we are called for greatness, but we're fallen in sin. And so we need a personal savior. We need a path to redemption. We need grace. And in, Revo in Frere, what we need is the revolution. So God's saving action has been replaced with a revolution. The path to completeness, the path to fullness, doesn't come through personal change, personal transformation, it comes through societal, right? So I think this is what Jasani says when people are looking for an easy way, they're looking for a shortcut. You don't have to change yourself. I don't actually see anything in Frere that's about changing yourself. It's about, you know, critical consciousness maybe, but it's not about actually formation, the term that you used, disciplining yourself, growing in virtue, overcoming your weaknesses, et cetera. So none of that is in Frere. So what we have here is a kind of cosmological view of a grand transformation that then is going to recondition us. So again, I think, and this is what Maritan was, was, was getting at, and we'll get back to it with Chassani, there's no true personal subject here because the subject is only reacting to external stimuli. And if we can change those external conditions, the personal transformation will just occur. But there's no personal. So then what's freedom? Freedom is knowing your place in the movement of history. It's not engaging your moral conscience, as, as Maritan would have it, not engaging with your moral conscience. It's not reflection and action. Again, you asked what reflection and action means here. It's not reflection and action in the sense of well, maybe there's something about me that needs to change for this to happen. My experience for Frere, again, this is one of the difficulties in applying Frere, right? If you belong to the oppressed class, what you experience is true. So we never deceive ourselves about ourselves. I mean, there's no human self-deception here. What kind of psychology is this where if you belong to a certain class, you have a pristine psychology. And if you belong to the other class, you're completely deluded in your psychology and even your generosity he calls false you know even what you call virtue is false so i mean what kind of psychology is this i don't i don't see a psychology here in frere or certainly not one i would embrace so again he uses terms like liberation but he's dissolved and he uses humanization but he's dissolved what for maritan and for the Greeks made us subjects. Our rationality, our ability to transcend, our ability to reflect on eternal things, our, our, our openness to the cosmos. And instead, we have a role to play in this larger picture. And I think that's part of why people pick it up. Because people want to feel that their action is contributing to this larger 
larger scale change that's bigger than themselves. And I would like to affirm that desire, but I question whether or not Frere can rightly satisfy the desires that he's stoking in people to have their actions have a meaningful impact on the world. This is what he's promising. But can he really get you there? Well, I can't find anything in Frere that would suggest any identity outside of the system of oppression that he identifies. Uh, I, I cannot find anything that would support a, a construction of, of, of a person's identity tied to family or church or anything. If, if he allows that, he doesn't explicitly embrace it. And those who have been, who, who are on, um, who are in the tradition uh, that Frere is a part of, have, have explicitly and are explicitly, Black Lives Matter being among them, but a variety of them, rejecting the idea of family as a part of the oppressive system. And I, I don't see anything, in, I, I, I suspect that Frere fully agrees with that, but as I certainly find nothing in Frere's argument that would suggest um, that any of these structures that have been, that have been a part of that, uh, of tradition or historical ways of being, uh, can, can in any meaningful way be justified, except insofar as they are fundamentally transformed, as the, case, as the phrase goes. Uh, so there's, I don't see how we have Frere's dis discussion of transformation and, and find any meaningful defense of family or, or other structures um, as constitutive of one's identity and purpose and meaning. He, he wants to give people an understanding of themselves that, it, that, is, that is tied to this consciousness uh, as a revolutionary, as someone engaged in, in transformation.